I hope I'm recording. Hey y'all, I am sitting on my couch and I was just thinking about life and conversations and situations and what's funny is um, it's my dad's birthday and um, you know my dad transitioned so I decided to um, take off work. So it's my off day today and I was sitting on the couch and um, I worked out this morning at 5 o'clock, and I came and um, took the kids to get dressed. I haven't taken a bath. Look, can you see? I still have on my little exercise outfit, and I just didn't feel like it. And started watching Oprah Super Soul Sunday. Um, the lady who wrote E Love and Pray. She was on there, and she was talking about her life experiences and stuff like that. And I was thinking, I want to do something. I want to do something. I just couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. So what I've decided, let me tell you, this, the older that I get, the more uncomplicated life becomes but the more challenging it becomes because you get to a point where you have to I guess grow up and even though I'm 41 sometimes I be thinking how old am I like you know I don't feel any different for as um, my character than I did in my 20s. Look, I talk with my hands. Than I did with in my 20s. But um, my, my attitude has changed. My direction in life has changed. And with me losing a parent, it's, it's different. And I was thinking, you know, I'll find something to do. The more I enjoy my own company now. I didn't really enjoy my company. With me um, growing up as only child, I, I always wanted my friends around me. I wanted people around me. And I got up and I called my friends. My friends were at work. My friends were busy. My friends were gone. My friends were at school. And um, I called my sister friends. And I chatted on the phone with Black Lacquer this morning. And I was going to take a shower and go to the spa. I didn't. I just, I, I, I couldn't get it together. I'm just laying on this couch. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to get in the shower and I'm going to change clothes. And I'll go pick up my daughter. And I do really want to go to um, get a massage today. I wanted to do something to honor my father. But the truth of it is, me living and learning is honoring enough. Um, I went and <laughs> I booked me a ticket to go out of the country. I'm leaving Tuesday. Let me tell you how whack I am. Let me tell you how whack I am. I picked somewhere and said, that's where I'm going. I couldn't find any round trip tickets that I like. So I booked me a one way ticket and I'm like, I get back on the internet and find me a way back home. When I come back home, I'm like... I just felt like, um, do y'all remember um, Andy I. Reed's song, Private Party? Ain't nobody here but me, my angels, and my guitar saying, baby, look how far we've come. That's how I feel. I feel, I feel like I am releasing weight. I am releasing burdens. I'm releasing responsibilities. I just want to be free. I, I just, I just want to be free, like... Where I can kind of get up and do whatever it is I want to do. It's, it's, I think I've been so restricted for so long under everybody's rules and guidelines and regulations on life. And, you know, I wake up every day thinking of the things that I have to do versus thinking of the things that I'm grateful for. You know, I, I don't really think of the things that I'm grateful for. So we on um in the Bahamas it, when we went to do the um the cruise 
we um, talked about a vision board. We didn't get to finish the vision board on the cruise. So we were supposed to come home and do a vision board. And everything on my vision board already has come to pass. I told y'all about that, how I had a picture of Oprah Winfrey on my vision board. I went to go see Oprah some years ago. I had a picture of a BMW X5 on there, and my credit was fucked up, and I didn't have no money. And I went and got my BMW X5. Actually, since then, I've had two BMW X5s. Um, how I wanted to meet a great man and have a great romantic experience. And I did that. Um, what else did I have on there? I wanted to go to an island and a real beach. And I've been to three cents. Um, how I wanted to have X amount in the dollars, X amount of dollars saved in the bank. I was able to do that. Um, I wanted to take my um, kids. Where did we want to go? Where did they want to go? Disney. I think we had already did that already. But... Um, they wanted to go camping. We did that. You know, just different things that I was going, if this happens, it has to be beyond my control because it wasn't anything that I could see forthcoming. And I think now that I'm going to put on, that was my vision board in my 30s. Um, now my vision board for 40. And I, I probably, you know, I'm going to keep the same vision board to everything comes to pass. Um I want a tummy tuck. I told you guys I'm going to get a tummy tuck. I'm going to get a tummy tuck. That will be next year. Um, I want to fly a plane. So I am going to um, probably go to helicopter class or some bullshit. They had it on Groupon. I just want to try it because really I'm scared of heights. Who would think because I love roller coasters, I'm really like freaked out about heights. And as much as I fly, I am scared of being in the air, but I've decided that I am going to fly a helicopter. <laughs> um, I want to get married. Did I tell you guys I had decided I wanted to get married? Now I'm going to say something that sound, may sound real crazy to some of y'all. I think I'm going to say that for the next video. I think I'm going to talk about soulmates and relationships in the next video. That's going to be good. But um, I'm just sitting here having a private party by myself, chilling, kids at school, you know, um, my friend brought me over a smoothie from um, Bread Company, is it Bread Company? Yeah, Bread Company, and I don't have any makeup on, I don't have on any earrings, I got on my big chop hair, I went and worked out, I feel good, I ate breakfast, I ate a veggie omelet. And I ate um, turkey bacon. I feel, I just feel good. You know, and I don't feel, I thought I'd feel lonely today. I don't, I don't feel lonely. I don't feel lonely. I said happy birthday to my dad. I feel okay. I, I feel okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm not like, yay, but I might. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm okay. Thanks for all you guys loving wishes and concerns and everything on um, Instagram and Facebook. I really do appreciate it. Um, I just feel like I'm having me a private party by myself. And I definitely um, been getting your emails. I just have not been in the... Actually, I can't type. What I'm going to do is start my 1-800 number back so you guys can kind of call me and we can kind of stay in touch because I just, I just haven't been able to... I got hundreds of emails, and I don't want y'all to think that I'm ignoring y'all. It's just that I've been on the grind. I'm going to start back taping um, more, and not only taping, posting. So I'm going to make sure, you know, I get that done. But I'm definitely getting ready to, right now, um, make a video and post it about relationships and soulmates. Because someone asked me a very, very good question. So um, I'm getting ready to tape it now. Bye, y'all. Thank you.